Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so deeply sorry for you know taking so long to put up a video. I got sick for a week and then right after that um, was my sister's birthday and then I got sick again. One of my eyes was really sick and then right after that I had to go back to school to organize some stuff because I am doing my bachelor's in medical. So all of that contributed to you know the long process of a video not going up. So today I wanted to do my July favorites and I'll be doing mini reviews on the products that I love. So I'm gonna like kill two birds with one stone and get straight to the point with each product so it would not make this video long. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching. So something I've been using recently, um, well actually not recently, just a month but that's recent. Um, but um, something that I've fallen in love deeply with and I actually didn't think it would work for me and I told you I was going to have a review coming and you know it's it's here. So it's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. If you're definitely an oily person, you need to get this. This would keep you matte for approximately 6 hours. It's very blendable, it gives flawless coverage and it's very buildable if you want, you know, with that more intense coverage if you do need it because I do have like bad acne scarring. So that this um, foundation definitely covers it. Um, you know, I recommend it to everyone who asks me what's, what's a foundation I would recommend for, you know, coverage and this is definitely it. Um, it it is it has like 14 shades in it so you have no problem in finding your shade i apply this with my beauty blender because i find it give a more flawless coverage that way and i definitely you know recommend you try this you won't regret it i have to rotate my foundation products because it somehow my skin when it gets accustomed to something I have to rotate it so I do have with skincare as well so I have to rotate this one when I realize my skin is getting a bit too comfortable and it's not you know working efficiently as it did before but for now this if you you know I've seen my recent pictures on Instagram and how flawless it looks it's because of this foundation and I, you need to go out there and get this foundation so yeah primer I've been loving and I actually think I would repurchase is the YSL Touche Flat Blue Primer. Oh my gosh, this works wonders for my skin. It definitely blades my pores and it has like a silver, um, not, not silver but gold um, dust in it and it definitely, you know, illuminates your skin. It does not, you do not see the gold dust on your skin. But um, it definitely gives you that illuminating factor and it definitely blaze your pores like crazy. So I will re be repurchasing this. I just wanted to try the smaller size to see if it works. But I definitely think you should try this. I mean, it's a little bit pricey, but I think it's definitely worth this splurge. So yeah, I love this primer and I think from now on this is my go-to primer. So a brush set that I've been recommending to all my customers is the BH Sculpt and Blend 10 piece brush set and it comes with 5 face brushes and 5 um, eyeshadow brushes and it goes from number 118 to 122. Oh my gosh, you need these brushes in your life. Um, it blends your, these are the eyeshadow brushes by the way, it blends your eyeshadow so seamlessly, there is, you know, each brush for each purpose of applying your eyeshadow, these are the face brushes, I use the powder brush, very regular, like, I think I carry this in my handbag as well, it's very good to buffing your powder, the contour brush is very excellent as well, this brush is very ideal for underneath your eye to set your powder and 
I recommend these brushes to anyone. It's very affordable. I definitely think it should have been high-end brushes to tell you how much of the great quality it is. It is very soft and dense and it does not tug on your skin at all. And it does not have no like hairs coming out. So you need to get these brushes and I recommend you try them if you're on a budget. They're weighted and yeah, thank me and let me know if you like product to see that. that I think that everybody would be loving for the month of, of July is the Becca um, highlighter in Champagne Pop. This was created by Jaclyn Hill and this is such a versatile highlighter and I definitely recommend it for anyone who wants that one you know just one highlighter in their collection this is definitely something for you to get it's gold with a peachy undertone which makes it very versatile for any skin tone it's very blendable and it gives you that wet highlight look on your cheeks or anywhere you would like to apply highlight I'm swatching it so you would see it's just so pretty and I just love it and it's definitely my go-to highlighter so I think it's still available so I would recommend you you know still to see if you get your hands on it if you don't have it and yeah and let me know if you so like it. a facial wash that I've been adoring and loving is the soap and glory um, face and soap clarity vitamin C facial wash this is to die for this is this actually controls my breakouts it actually purifies my skin cleans everything out after I remove my makeup and I got this recommendation from Manny it leaves your skin like actually squeaky clean it gives you that cooling refreshing feeling and unfortunately this product is being discontinued so if I was you I would try to get my hands on this before it stops but um, yeah this is excellent product as I tell you it prevents me from getting breakouts and I definitely think you should try and get your hands on it before it stops. So I've definitely jumped on to the lip stain bag wagon. So I've been loving the Anastasia liquid lip stains and I have five colours. I have Trust Issues, Veronica, Craft, Safir and Sarafine if that's how you pronounce it. And I love it it's definitely a creamy formula it's not it's drying but it's not too drying on your lips um, it does not show the cracks in your lips at all and it definitely I say definitely lasts on your lips for four four hours I think for me but I have experienced one issue with trust issues it definitely after two hours it definitely started crumbling on my lips and falling off and oh my gosh I was totally disappointed so I think I got a bad one so yeah but I do recommend you try them the colors are so unique and so different in each one of them and that's what I love most about Anastasia products they are so unique and their colors are so individual so I definitely you know recommend you try them and if you want to see individual videos on swatches let me know so I can do it so comment down below and let me know so try these and let me know how it works out for you thank you guys so much for watching my July favorites um, my next video would be a what's in my bag video and also if you have any problems in getting any of the products that I you know talked about today you can get them at pristine cosmetics on Facebook if you're from Trinidad and yeah so thank you for watching and if you want to see more of me please subscribe to my channel if it means so much and thank you you know see you again in my next video bye